Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am currently on campus. Um, today I'm going to show you around Aberdeen a little bit, take you through the different options of student accommodation there are here. There's some university accommodation, but also some provided by partners of the university around the city. So yeah, I'm, I've stayed in quite a few of them. So I'm gonna show you around, tell you what different places are like, how far they are from campus or into town or the shops. And um, yeah, hopefully that will help you make a decision as to where you'd like to stay when you come here. Yeah, the first place we're going to go to is Hillhead Student Village, which is literally just a 15 to 20 minute walk from campus. So the shortest walk to Hillhead takes you through campus and then through Seaton Park, which is a really nice place during the day when there's a lot of people around. But at night, there really are no lights at all. It really is pitch black. And there's also a couple of dodgy people around. So yeah, even the uni says you should avoid walking through the park at night. But otherwise, what's good about Hillhead is that there are many first year students staying there and loads of different options regarding room type or how many people you're sharing with and also the price. So there's something for everyone. And uh, yeah, Hillhead also has a communal central building, which has a little shop that sells essentials, uh, like pub, food place, and some common rooms, and also a communal kitchen that you can book and use. Um, they also put on a lot of different events at Hillhead, but I will say to that that these events are open to all students, so not just those staying at Hillhead. pros for staying here in Hillhead. There's loads of first year students, there's loads of events on in the central building, there's a pub, there's like common rooms that you can go to um, but it does have its downsides as well. It is kind of far away from the rest of the town so far away from city centre, far away from the sports village. Um, Seaton Park is a bit like mm, at night. The other path to walk that at night by yourself is also a bit meh. And um, the bus service is okay, but not very um, frequent. And also I think it doesn't go very late at night. So if you're going out in the evenings, you probably have to get a taxi back or like walk home for 45 minutes to an hour in the dark. And if you're on your own, yeah. So you have to try to decide if you want to stay here or not. I personally didn't choose to stay here in first year. I stayed somewhere closer to um, the university and closer to town. So yeah, I'm heading back down again into town um, and I'll show you some of the other accommodation that is not provided by the university but um, by some of its partners like Unite Students and uh, the Student Roost. On my uh, way back to campus I actually walked past this place that I had completely forgotten about. Um, this site used to be a Liberty Living site but it seems like um, Unite Students has recently taken over all of their sites in Aberdeen. So anyway, this is um, now called the site on Don Street and which from the inside is probably very similar to Linksfield Road um, which I'll show you later in this video. But uh, yeah, apart from that, this place is actually in quite a good location. It's a quiet little street um, off of the main road. There's It's about five minutes um, walk from campus, 10 minutes to Lido and the zoology building and about a 15 minute walk to the sports village. So yeah, not a bad option actually. So I'm down again at uh, just campuses across the road. This is um, King Street Exchange. I stayed here during the first term of second year. Um, it's really good actually. The rooms are an okay size. I think I still have some footage which I'll insert if I um, can find it. And yeah, it doesn't have a common room which is a shame. Um, so if you don't get on with your flatmates it can be a bit difficult. But um, yeah. Okay, so I found the old footage of my room at King Street Exchange. I was in an ensuite room in a flat that I shared with five other people. Um, the room is probably similar to the rooms at all Unite student sites, so that might be a good comparison for you. And it also has exactly the same layout as the rooms in Carnegie Court have in Hillhead. Um, yes, yeah, so they have a bathroom and then quite a small wardrobe, but a three-quarter sized bed with underbed storage, bedside, ta bedside table, and um, quite a large desk, which personally I quite liked. 
Uh, the kitchen slash living room area was also really nice and I was quite lucky because I was in one of the flats in block one that has these huge big windows on the corner because it's right at the edge of the building and has a nice view out onto campus and you can see all the way to the sea. Um, so yeah, that might be something that you want to ask for um, if you choose to stay there. And one thing that I definitely recommend you make sure of before you move there is that you ask that your room is not directly behind the TSB bank because otherwise you will have a brick wall 50 centimetres from your bedroom window. So that might not be ideal. 10 minute walk to Lidl down the road. Obviously you just have to roll out of bed and you're at university. You're next to a main road but you do get used to the noise. And um, Sports Village is just a couple of minutes away as well to walk. So yeah, overall, I'd um, actually quite recommend staying here. I really enjoyed um, my time here. Since I actually stayed here for a while, I do have a more detailed review on my blog with some more pictures. So I'll leave a link to that under this video if you want to go check that out. So the next stop on my guide to student accommodation in Aberdeen was Liberty House in Linksfield, which is just a 10 minute walk from the university campus and where again I have a more detailed review and pictures on my blog um, if you want to go check that out. Now down at Linksfield Road, this is where I stayed in first year, this is Liberty House. Um, as I might have mentioned before, um, it seems like Liberty Living has been bought by Unite Students so this place used to be called Liberty House or Liberty House Linksfield Road or something like that. Anyway, now it's Linksfield House uh, by United Students and this is really good. That used to be my room there and what's really nice is the sports village is literally there. It took me two minutes to get from uh, my room to training so that was really good. It's really close to the university, only a 10 minute walk down the road. There's a Tesco at the end of the road which is really good if you quickly need to buy something. Morrison's is about a 15 to 20 minute walk, reaches down that direction and uh, yeah this is actually a really nice place to stay. It's not the most modern of places or cleanest of places um, like all the Liberty Living buildings around the city but now that United Students have bought them I hope that that might be a bit of an incentive to renew and like renovate the rooms so maybe they'll get a bit um, nicer but in terms of like price and location I think this is a really good place I am um, really like staying here. On my way to the next place I've actually just come by this Ardmuir accommodation place they've got a few sites um, across town um, I'd actually forgotten about this but it does exist I have looked at it but I do think it's a bit expensive for what you get so it's it's you'd be much better off um, getting a place somewhere else also has a lot of mature postgrad overseas students so maybe not ideal uh, place for you if you if you're coming um, for first year um, actually I think this video is getting quite long now so I think I will put it into two parts so I'm heading off to the next location then and I'll see you in part two